So how do you draw the Lewis structure for um, SeO2? Um, and what is its geometry around the central atom? So the first thing you need to do is you need to decide which is the central atom. Uh, so normally this is the least electronegative atom. So out of uh, selenium and oxygen, selenium is the least electronegative. If we look at the periodic table, yeah, selenium is further down, um, making it, and it's further from fluorine, so it is less electronegative than oxygen. Then what you're going to do is draw a skeleton structure um, in which the other atoms are singly bonded to the central atom. So this is just a rough sketch. Um, and then you're going to try to uh, put electron pairs around every atom until you get an octet. Um, so uh, you will need to count the valence electrons that you have in total. Um, so SeO2, selenium dioxide, has 18 valence electrons. So you need to make sure that there are no more than 18 valence electrons in your Lewis structure. Uh, so you can rearrange your structure a little bit more, um, trying to keep everything to have an octet. Um, if you can't rearrange um, so that it fits both, you may have to add a negative or a positive charge. Um, so in this case, um, so you could either have the double bond onto either um, Se oxygen bond, um, but then you don't have a very complete octet. Um, so you would have to, it would have to be charged. So, which means that the selenium atom will have a positive charge so that it, you take away an electron and then one of the oxygen atoms will have a negative charge so that you're adding an electron. So that's the only way to get the valence electrons to add up so that um, you have the, the 18 valence electrons accounted for and that every atom has a full octet. So it has eight electrons in total.